Welcome Capricorn to your bonus love reading for September. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we are going to use the AF Tarot deck to pull some energies, do some tarot, and then we are going to use the Lovers of Oracles uh, for the end of the reading, but we are still going to use the Hidden Truth messages um, from your person. Now, this gets more in-depth and your person's uh, true feelings. And I feel like this uh, deck, which is called the Divine Love Oracle, brings a lot of clarity, I feel. Okay. And then we'll pull a couple more other cards. So let's go ahead and see what is coming in for Capricorn. All right. We do have the Empress in reverse. And we have the Three of Wands. And the Spirit of Cups in reverse. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands energy and the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. All right. We do have the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. We have the Two of Swords energy the world, the page of wands, the magician, the emperor, and we have emperor and the empress, the will of fortune, the four of cups, and the temperance. Bottom of the deck is the five of wands and the hermit, and then we have a judgment the Lovers, and the Four of Swords. Wow. All right, Capricorn. So it does show with this Empress energy that there could be, you know, a feeling of not feeling centered at this time, maybe feeling overwhelmed, a bit drained. But the Empress is here. So it is showing me um, that you are the, the Empress, okay? That you are the goddess of the deck. This is someone who is very loving and nurturing and caring, okay? Who knows her worth, but could be taking on a lot emotionally, physically, spiritually at this time to where you could be feeling overwhelmed. Okay, so we do have the Three of Wands, and I feel like it has to do about moving forward. Now, this is already making a choice and moving forward with the individual, but there could be some stagnant here, okay? I feel like there's uh, something here that went stagnant, maybe not avoiding, uh, maybe avoiding an individual or not talking at this time. We do have the Nine of Wands, so this is you having your guard up. Could be a little bit suspicious about their behavior, but we have the, the Five of Rings. I feel like it's more of letting go now, right? Letting go of something here it could be your emotions it could be a thought process it could be just letting go of the, the situation completely um, but I do feel like you are releasing here and could be in recovery mode um, as there's a bit of blockages within this reading now the page of wands is is in the challenge now when the page of wands is here it's mostly somebody is very curious right wanting to start something um, conversations or uh, this is like feeling a spark within a situation, but it's in the challenge position, which means you're redirecting your energy in a way, okay? Or somebody's redirecting their energy. Um, it's like wanting to start something new, but there's so many obstacles and blockages that, you know, it's hard to, you know, start something here or to um, move forward within this situation. The Five of Wands and the Hermit, there could have been a fight, argument, disagreement, some challenges again here with this Five of Wands, to which cause a separation, a withdrawal here, maybe some isolation here um, for some of you guys, but the Hermit is more of going within, listening to your intuition. This is already saying that you have all the answers, okay? This is going within for the answers. So it's showing that you are a very wise individual. Two of Swords you could be avoiding or you could be blindsided by something here, but I feel like more it's like not really addressing this issue anymore. Um, I don't feel like you're wanting to invest um, within this situation. There could have been, you know, some dishonesty or due to an argument, however, or something just not moving forward here into this new love direction or an opportunity within the situation. Now the world is here, so it's showing that there is an ending here, okay? Um, a closing of a chapter and going into something new. Um, this could be a divorce as we have a married couple here possibly, or just a really strong bond, um, or you guys could both be parents. 
but we do have, again, this magician. So there's definitely some uh, manifestation here. Somebody's definitely manifesting you, you're manifesting them. It's in the mutual energies. Now, the emperor in the will of fortune, there's something here which brings change. I mean, we do have the emperor here, so someone could be married within this situation. Um, and we do have the will of fortune, so change is definitely here or could be intervening. But the odd part of all of this uh, is the four of cups. So even though there's change coming, what you don't see what you don't see coming is this four of cups energy. Feeling frustrated how things are are going. Um, this person could be feeling frustrated um, how things are playing out also because they're looking at you as a missed opportunity. Or you could be looking, both of you guys could be looking at each other as a missed opportunity as you both are manifesting each other. Temperance is bringing something into balance or a restore in balance here. Temperance is one of the best cards to have because it's all about patience and gaining balance within your life, within the situation. Regardless, the temperance is the most, I, I love this card. It's about peace, right? A desire for peace. Uh, we do have the judgment, which means second chances. Uh, are awakening, right? Seeing things a lot clearer. Maybe a choice within lovers um, or somebody, again, in a relationship or a separation here. But there's definitely some disconnect as we have the Four of Swords, at which means a withdrawal. And then Hermit, you're withdrawing yourself, okay? I feel like the outcome is bringing a lot of peace within your life here as you do have this Judgment card here, again, choices but it's an awakening it's something that is pulling you either out of the situation um, or pulling you more into the future however but i'm loving that energy of the temperance and the will is really big to have with the emperor so there's something a little off with this this energy here um but change is coming okay change is here regardless okay let's see how this person feels about Capricorn. Whoa, okay. I don't want to know. That could really be anything. I don't know what comes next. I don't want to know, and I don't know what comes next. I won't let you down. All right, bottom of the deck. I'm not over you. So there's still some feelings here, but there could be a lot of blockages as to why things are not moving forward. That's what I'm feeling. Um, you would only know that in your situation, but... There's definitely some suspicions having your guard up and possibly releasing and recovering now from this individual. A lot of pentacles here, so it could be a job or however, but this is a love reading, so. Um, but a message is here, but maybe no communication as of yet. But let's see. Yeah, collaboration, yeah, as of yet. See, there is a willingness for both parties to cooperate and unify. There is a willingness, but it, it, it's like not moving forward as, as of yet. Okay, so there is some, some, okay, reunion. See, there is something coming together. Two divine souls will come together in the near future. And clarity. There we go. Your soul is guiding you to the answers you seek. And that is judgment. Okay, guys, that is judgment. And then forgiveness. Forgiveness shows growth and will release blocks to happiness. I love that. Forgiveness shows growth and will release blocks to happiness. Hmm. Sounds like key information there. And we are going to end the reading with the Lovers of Oracles. These are very short and sweet readings, which my bonus readings are. Um, let's go ahead and grab a card for Capricorn and see when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. You know, I am going to grab another card. Okay. That's the card that fell out and it says, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Very nice reading, Capricorn. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here. If you do like this reading or if it helped in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.